Thank you. It's my pleasant job to present the nominees in the category of actress in a supporting role. We're looking at five women who range in age from none of your business to how dare you ask. <laughs> Which proves that fine acting is a product of talent, not time. The five nominees are Diane Ladd in Rambling Rose, <laughs> Juliette Lewis in Cape Fear, Kate Nelligan in The Prince of Tides, Mercedes Rue in The Fisher King, Jessica Tandy in Fried Green Tomato. And the Oscar goes to Mercedes Rue, The Fisher King. Thank you. I, uh, I went to New York to study acting the summer that I was 21. And like thousands of actors before me and thousands of actors after me, I went through the usual scores of moonlighting jobs and the usual scores of rejection and the usual legions of prophets of doom who were always there and always at the ready to give you the up-to-minute odds against you ever making anything of yourself in this business. And at this moment, <laughs> all of those sort of doleful memories have suddenly transformed themselves into nothing more than the sort of charming and amusing anecdotes from my memoirs. <laughs> I cannot, <laughs> cannot thank you enough. There are a few people I'd like to thank with all my heart very quickly. The great Terry Gilliam, Rit yeah. Richard Lagravenese, our screenwriter, an extraordinary cast. It was an honor to work with them. Roger Pratt, our cinematographer. Steve Randall, Linda Opes, Deborah Hill, Howard Fuhrer, Marsha McManus, my family and my close friends for their patience and their respect and their support. And finally, I would like to thank Albert Inarato and the late Joseph Papp, who gave me my first shot on the New York stage and my first break in the big time, and especially the late, great Joe Papp, who once in a rehearsal for that play nudged me out of the shadow into, into the light and told me to stay there in no uncertain terms. I have, I do, I will. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.